Welcome. It's Tuesday. We're gonna do fitnessy things. If you haven't already seen the weekend update, I'm gonna explain a lot of uh, the differences, what you'll see on Wattify if you didn't catch them yesterday. Uh, I kept the link to the weekend update in Wattify for today, so go ahead and watch that. Uh, just explains what we're doing on the app itself with Wattify, but also the differences and how to approach some of the workouts. Um, I'll try to elaborate that on some other videos, uh, but that should give you a basic idea of how to approach these workouts, um, depending on where you're at with what equipment you have or your fitness level. Cool, moving on. Uh, Tuesday, we've got some interesting things going on. We've got some interval work. Um, warm up, we've got a Tabata. Uh, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. First thing, high knees, so just give it a go. Um, yeah, 20 seconds of high knees, get moving. Get some sweat on. 10 seconds of rest, and then you've got a seated pike up hold. I talked a little bit yesterday about why that compression strength is good. Now we're gonna take it for a hold. So find a position with your hands and your feet, whether that's your hands behind you or in front of you, whatever it is, that you can hold pretty consistently for that full 20 seconds. That's gonna be really, really hard, um, but it is gonna drive that ab compression and that neural um, feedback of uh, how to control those muscles really, really well, or drive it home, drive it home, there we go. Um, so back and forth between those for those four minutes of eight rounds, and then we're moving on. I also put in a link if you wanted to, we're doing a lot of running, and uh, it's also important to run correctly or work on your running. Although it's a natural thing that humans do, it's not uh, exactly the most natural thing that we do in Western culture. So uh, there's a link to a YouTube video from Training Think Tank. They're awesome. And it just goes through a follow along of different running movements and prep for a running workout. So if you struggle with running or if running just makes everything hurt, go through that, try it out, see if you like it. Um, if anything, it's just a good warm up. So once you get done with that, we have uh, another introduction to our new thing. Uh, Chadwick over here. What's up, Call Valley family? Coach Chad here with Frankie. Is going to take you through a PNF lat stretch. When you get to it in the workout or the warm up, um, just go ahead and click on the video and Chad's got a follow along of how to do the, uh, the PNF lat stretch and then talking you through the entire thing. So pull it up, it's a short video, give it a like. Uh, I've never said like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe to our new YouTube channel. Um, anyhow, follow along with that. Frankie. Frankie has a starring role and it's pretty good. Cool. Uh, moving on to the two second, two. My coffee's cold, it's fine. Moving on to the specific prep. You've got two sets of 30 seconds of each movement. We're gonna go hollow roll to arch and back. Cool, this is phenomenal for you to get some understanding on how to twist and use your abs and also just to hammer home uh, your positions in hollow arch. So take your time with that. Don't rush it, it's not for reps per se, it's just for that time. Move with control, have some fun. I really like as I roll over to shoot my bottom arm up, that tends to get my shoulder out of the way for me to roll, uh, but something you can play with, it's all gonna be different for each person. When you get done with that, 30 seconds of Scorpion, we will spare you the creepy video. Maybe Alec will add it in post-production, I don't know. Uh, then you got 30 seconds more of scat push-ups. Although some of these movements are repetitive and we're doing them frequently, a lot of this prep work is gonna be imperative for you to keep healthy shoulders, especially with all of the body weight stuff that we're doing. So please prioritize uh, the repetitiveness of these movements. So the scat push-ups, the scorpions, all of that's geared towards keeping your shoulders healthy while you're stuck in quarantine. Cool, moving on from there. We've got an interesting little EMOM. This is just some strength work. You've got a 40 second plank hold. Focus for that is gonna be really driving the shoulders through. I'm not gonna make a demo video, so I'm just gonna do it here, but pushing through that upper back and that should allow you to really feel these abs up here as they tuck under, okay? If you don't feel them, put your mind there and try to squeeze them harder even if that position doesn't create it for you. 40 seconds of that plank, you can do that on your forearms or with straight arms, it's up to you. And then eight to 12 towel rolls. I put in a video of me setting this up 
it's kind of weird, but it does work pretty well. The longer the towel, the better. Um, something I realized after I made it, you could also just have somebody hold the towel to make sure it doesn't slip at all, but it worked pretty well as long as you don't move super fast. Um, so 40 second plank, eight to 12 rows or strict pull-ups. If you have a wonderful husband who welded you a brand new pull-up bar, Tara, that's awesome. Uh, he can come over to my place and, uh, make one for Liza and me. That'd be awesome. Uh, that'll take us to more ums and uhs. With a Metcon of every five minutes on the five minute for five rounds. So 25 minutes total. For the no equipment, we've got some basic energy work uh, practice or whatever, however you want to say that. 400 meter run followed by 15 burpees. This is just one round per five minutes. So you're going to bust ass through that 400 run. You're going to hit the floor and you're going to do the fastest 15 burpees that you've ever done in your entire life. Cool. Then you have the rest of that five minutes to rest and then you're going to repeat that. I put in for it to be three to five rounds. Okay. What that is, is if you notice a significant drop in power output from rounds three to four, um, or from rounds two to three, sorry, or three to four, go ahead and just cut it off. Okay. What I want for you guys is not to force yourself through a tired state. I want you to maintain the stimulus for each and every round that you do. Okay. A lot of the mentality usually is, oh, well, I made it to round four. And even though I'm gassed and I'm tired and it took me four and a half minutes to do that round, even though the first round took three minutes, I'm going to grit it out because I'm tough and I do CrossFit. CrossFit. Cool. That's all good and well if we were chasing that stimulus. But for today, we're not. What we want is to train the energy systems um, on their own and in this somewhat sterile environment. Okay. So what I want you to do is if you run a 90 second 400 and then it takes you about a minute to do the burpees, you should be within about 10 to 15 seconds of that for all of the rounds. If you notice that your run became two minutes and then your burpees became two minutes and there's a significant drop in either the time or the feeling in your head, go ahead and cut it off. What that's going to do is give you a benefit in training the specific energy systems of doing that. Um, and you're going to get more of a stimulus response or a better adaptation to it than if you were to just grit it out and make it like a 25 minute workout from hell. So that's my two bits on that. Uh, for those of us that have equipment or have a rower or a bike, there's a slightly different version of this, but the same approach to, uh, calorie row followed by some thrusters, either with dumbbells or a barbell and then 12, uh, burpees over whatever you're doing, uh, the thrusters with same idea. Go ahead and chase after it your first round and your third round and your fifth round should feel about the same. Cut it off if you notice a significant drop in power output. Um, interesting wad. Uh, we don't do that very much, uh, but I thought it'd be fun to play with. Uh, hopefully it's nice out on Wednesday. It's a Tuesday. Nice out on Tuesday. I'll drink more coffee. And then cash out. You've got a glute bridge hold plus a march. This one's pretty simple. I didn't make a video. Uh, there is a video link in there to a deca comp. Good for your butt. Hopefully you can come out of this quarantine with some squat gains. Okay, question of the day. Question of the day. Uh, just to ask for some feedback, we'll take this as a almost midweek feedback day. Um, is there anything that you would like to see that we're doing? You would want more of, less of, different features, whether it's my ramblings on the Metcons, technique from the coaches, side videos, um, anything you would want to see. Uh, if you have any suggestions or feedback from what we're doing, please put it into uh, the little Instagram comment thing. Just click on the post and we'll try to make things better every day.